guys. Hello and welcome to uh, Stefan Eats. And today we're just gonna do one place and it's probably one of my favorite restaurants in the whole city. Uh, we're gonna dive in to a uh, food that is uh, very uncommon, uh, not only in Vancouver, but in many places around North America. We're talking about Palestinian food. Uh, this is a restaurant I've been going to for quite a while and I just thought, you know what, why not? I'm just gonna go there again. I'm gonna show you guys just the absolutely delicious food uh, that you can find here and maybe some of my favorite lamb dishes in the city. Anyways, we're gonna walk around the corner, we're gonna check it out uh, and yeah, uh, I'm very excited about this. Uh, yeah, I'm ready for some more juicy lamb, let's go. So uh, I think this place might have some of my favorite lamb, but also probably one of my favorite salads in all of Vancouver. And you'll see what I mean. Uh, there's a salad that's absolutely delicious. We've ordered quite a spread. I think it'll just uh, fit on this table. But yeah, really cool atmosphere and the owners are super nice here. Thank you so much. So this is the start of it. So this cauliflower just comes bubbling. And just a very good presentation. The smell is just intoxicating. That is some juice you definitely want to give. Yeah, you definitely want to dip your bread in that juice. Uh, but I think to start, I'm just gonna just take a bite of this cauliflower on top. Uh, we're gonna rejuice it a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure what the sauce is on there. Uh, let's just give it a shot. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, sourness right away, and then you just get that just cauliflower taste. There's a nuttiness that also I think comes from the, I think it's also has tahini on it, and of course combined with the nuttiness from the cauliflower, just a very good dish. And of course with this kind of cauliflower you also get that kind of roasted flavor. Um, yeah, you can't really go wrong with this kind of dish. And of course, a little bit of this bread, I'm just gonna grab and make almost like a cauliflower taco. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And yeah, this is definitely what you want to do. Uh, yeah, um, this is going to be good. I know already. What did the broccoli say to the cauliflower when you're making their getaway? Floor it. You know, floor it. Now, here might be one of, maybe I'm gonna say it, my favorite salad in Vancouver. And it is an eggplant salad. It has roasted eggplant. It has, uh, I think it's like, I think they're almonds or yeah, I'm pretty sure they're like slivered almonds, but they're roasted. You have some raisins, uh, you have some tomato. It is just a thing of beauty. And yeah, I can't wait to share this with you. Probably my favorite salad in Vancouver by far. I can, I can feel the mouth juices uh, just getting super excited. I'm gonna take a big bite. of appetizers. Uh, I think the first thing we're gonna try is definitely this kibe kibe. I think it's uh, some kind of, uh, it's like a meatball and it's deep fried. And uh, yeah, very excited to try this. And of course, the best thing with kibe is you can kind of dip it into a whole bunch of uh, sauces. Oh, it's opening from this side. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes, perfect. Wow. Yeah, so full of meat. And of course, look how hot it is. Yes, it's all just coming out that steam. It's just kind of been steaming in a sauna. All those meat juices just combining. Oh, and you can smell the spices, maybe a little bit of sweetness in there for sure. Maybe some allspice. And I'm just gonna try it by itself to start. Oh yeah. Mm. Not too strong. Uh, the outside is really nice, very fluffy. That inside meat. Um, it's not too salty, and you get a little bit of the spices at the end. I think for sure though, I think there's a sauce that's kind of staring me in the eye. I think it's going to be this, uh, this pepper sauce. I'm going to put this pepper sauce on top. Perfect. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that packs a punch. Mm, not spicy at all. 
but you got this kind of uh, just hit in your face pepper flavor. Yeah, but you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, this this hummus here for sure. Oh, oh, oh yes, <laughs> perfect. Oh, that looks really good. Okay. Let's go. Oh, and I see tahini there too. Anyways, this will be the hummus, and of course, you know a place is really good when they when they absolutely nail down the hummus. Let's let's see how this one tastes. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Very tahini heavy. That's exactly how I really like my hummus. Extremely smooth. Definitely some tahini in there and good quality olive oil. Just sprinkle on top. And I'm gonna just top it onto this bread. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Just to, just, you know, we gotta test things here. Okay, there we go. So lots of olive oil on there, you can tell. It's already kind of, uh, it's already kind of convulging on the side. Uh, yeah, very excited. Let's go. Oh, wow. Mm. You must get that one. That, that is, might be my favorite. Yeah, this is probably my favorite dip out of all of these. Our mains have come, and uh, the first one we're gonna focus on are these uh, chicken kebabs with the mujadara. Uh, the mujadara is actually a dish that's uh, pretty common over all of the Middle East. And uh, it's pretty much, yeah, it consists of uh, rice and lentils. There's some caramelized onions in there, and I think some other spices. Uh, and of course, we have these um, chicken skewers. Notoriously, I'm nor normally not a big fan of chicken dogs just because they get overcooked. But I'm willing to give these ones a shot just because I know this place is pretty good. So. You have this uh, chicken kebab, that sauce on there. I'm assuming it's probably some kind of garlic sauce. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna bite it right off the spit. I'm too excited, I, I can't wait. Let's just go. Mm. Oh wow, that flavor is what really hits you. Mm. Wow. It's almost floral. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of like garlic white sauce on there. Um, and more acidity, so they've definitely marinated this. Yeah, they've marinated this in quite a bit of citrus or some kind of lemon. And of course, the uh, mujadara. Uh, so, I have a little bit of that uh, caramelized onion on top. And of course, those lentils and those rice. And the rice. And uh, yeah, so a little bit of like a brownish color. Let's just give it a shot. Yeah, uh, this. Yeah, the grains are definitely one of the exciting things, especially when it comes to Middle Eastern cooking. I got some really cool grains. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Very good combination. You get these uh, creamy little pebbles that uh, come from the uh, from the lentils, mm. and then the rice is cooked but not overcooked. You get you still get a very good texture from the rice. Definitely not overcooked, not mushy at all, and a little bit of this. Uh, uh, kind of, yeah, you get a little bit of that caramelized onion, which will just kind of finish, uh, yeah, at the end with a little bit of sweetness. Mm. Oh, wow. Now, here might be one of my favorite dishes in Vancouver. Uh, this is the uh, lamb roast. So they've roasted some lamb. I think it's a shank, and then they cut it off and you have another very unique grain. Now this grain I ordered because I really wanted to talk about it. Uh, this is called frike. So what it is is green durum wheat. And what they do is they actually uh, rub them together to get a uh, really kind of, I think they even toast them too. So it's a to they toast them and then they rub them together. And you end up with this, um, it, this might be my favorite grain in the world. Uh, there are many rices I haven't tried, but up till now, Frike might be one of my favorite things. And yeah, this green durn wheat. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna try this before the lamb. This is how much respect I have for this grain. If I could marry a grain, if it's legal in Canada, I will marry Frike. And then we can get Frike. Yeah. Mm. Just that toasted flavor. It's almost like a quinoa on steroids and 40 times better than quinoa. This is quinoa's better tasting brother or sister. This is like the sibling that 
you know, I want it to be. Mm. Yeah, just super toasty. You get the kind of green, I don't really describe it, this herbaceous flavor. Then the lamb is gonna be melt in your mouth. Uh, I don't think they've even given me a fork. No, oh, they did give me a fork. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Let's just break into this lamb. Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You get the kind of crispy edge. And then you get the super tenderness. You get definitely some saltiness from there. Just look how juicy this lamb is. I'm going to show you a bit. Oh. I mean, look at that. You can just push on it, and that's just how it breaks apart. They, you can definitely, they've, you can tell they've stewed it for just a very long time. And I get that center bit with a little bit of the fat. Oh, oh. and I can tell there's like a ring of fat coming around, and maybe with a little bit of the frikia too, just on top. Let's put them together, and of course a little bit of this uh, cabbage. There you go. Oh, wow. This is as close to heaven as you can get in a spoonful. Mm. Yeah, I think I got a nice fatty portion of that lamb. Wow, this is one of the top dishes in the city you can get. And this is very likely my favorite lamb in the city by far. What do you call when a sheep falls down a cliff? A lamb slide. <laughs> this one's even worse. What sound do you hear when uh, a sheep, a snake, and a drum uh, fall down a cliff? Buttons. You know, buttons. We are gonna go for this rice pudding. Uh, so, uh, rice pudding with some a lot of whipped cream. The whipped cream is kind of falling to the side, uh, so we're gonna try to readjust them a little bit. Uh, yeah, another just kind of dish that's kind of made it all over the world, uh, rice pudding. And I'm gonna try to grab some rice on the side. Oof, look at that. Perfect. Oh, so lots of whipped cream, lots of rice. Looks pretty tasty to me. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh yeah, that is sweet. Mm -hmm. Definitely some rose water in there. You might get quite a bit of whipped cream. Uh, probably some coconut chunks or coconut shavings. Overall, I like it, uh, but it is very, yeah. It's typical of, uh, of a lot of Middle Eastern treats. Very sweet, yeah, extremely sweet. Oh, hi. Well, I didn't notice there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you so much for joining us in this video. Uh, yeah, I don't understand why this place doesn't have bigger lines. It is easily one of my favorite restaurants in all of Vancouver. If you are vegan, I would definitely check them out. They have some really, really solid uh, vegan options. Uh, and of course, if you do like meat like us, yeah, I mean, you cannot go wrong. Uh, the lamb is is next level. That's pretty much it for a video. We just did this uh, one place. If you do enjoy videos, uh, don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button. Also hit the uh, bell icon. Also definitely like our videos. Please do like our videos. Uh, that will definitely help us out uh, to reach other audiences and hopefully we can keep on making other videos. And of course, leave us uh, those comments. Let us know how you're doing. Give us those uh, recommendations. Yeah, if there's any place you want us to try definitely let us know we are always on the lookout for the next gem the next amazing spot anyways we are going to see you very very soon ciao for now